Hi, welcome to another World of Engineering videos. Um, this video, um, it's about this um, uh, charger which I did recently, um, not recently, some time ago, and many people um, uh, asked me to um, basically do it again because my test condition wasn't perfect to test this charger. Um, so I'm um, just doing a quick um, um, basically review on what we did last time. I went through the, some of the functionalities of this um, uh, charger. If I can zoom it in. Yep, some of the functionalities of this charger, which you can buy like for three, four bucks from eBay. Um, so quickly, this is to adjust the output voltage. And this one is to adjust the uh, current basically will limit the current and this is to um, adjust the trickle um, current um, this get off yes uh, this is to adjust the trickle current after the battery is fully charged now last time when I tested that that didn't work um, these two um, potentiometers and the current only changed when I varied the voltage now what happened? The, um, the feedbacks I got, and which was uh, which were quite valid, and that's why I'm going to do the test um, in two um, using two methods. Uh, one method is using these um, uh, resistors, so um, connecting these in uh, output uh, of this charger and measuring the uh, current, see what's the maximum current and how how we can adjust it and then the second would be discharging one of these um, um, lithium ion batteries this is 18650 um, this is one of the no names you can get for two bucks and this is the genuine uh, Panasonic one but the other one here um, which would cost six seven bucks and yeah so 18650 um, these thing, these batteries becoming very uh, popular these days uh, because they have they got a lot of current in them and very light. Okay, to make sure that uh, my batteries are fully discharged, I'm gonna use uh, two of these resistors. Each of them are uh, five ohm in series to discharge the battery. So you get 10 ohm, nice round number. I'm cutting the, the tip of resistor here, but it's got a, uh, always when you pull it out of um, these packages, they have a um, bit of um, residual glue on it, just to make sure it's, it will conduct properly. Okay, so connecting the multimeter across the resistors and want to connect my um, batteries um, across uh, these two points. Well, I hope it works. And last time, what I did, I didn't discharge the uh, bat batteries, but what I did, I did a similar thing which should should still should have worked I increased the voltage and that means basically tip of that that means if my battery the charging voltage is um, let's say it would be charged at 4.2 um, I pushed it to 4.8 even or even 5 volt to see um, um, if that increases the current or anything, or, I'd, or um, adjusting the potentiometer would do anything, and did, it didn't do anything. So this time, um, we'll do it uh, correct way with discharging the batteries first. All right. Okay, that's good. Okay, as you can see, the voltage is two point. And nine one, it's going down. Two point eight nine eight seven. It's very quick. So it's ten ohm, and um, 
just check if it's getting hot. No, it's not. They're warm. The resistors are getting warm. Um, 2.8. The nominal voltage of these batteries um, are 3.7, 3.8 volt. Um, so I don't think I want to reduce it more than that. Stop here. I connected um, the input of these, the charger uh, to my power supply. I'm going to turn it on. All right. And as you can see, the voltage is um, 4.2. Yep. I just want to adjust that. As I said, this one is for the voltage. Let's make it 4.3. Alright, perfect. And um, this one, as I said, uh, the one to the right um, is adjustment for the current. Now the voltage is adjusted. I will connect my um, graphical multimeter to measure the charge current. And I'm just connecting the connecting this in series positive it's doing it very crude doing proper connection that's okay for at this stage okay should give me a voltage, yep. And so let me bring the this is the fluke. Get it closer. Zoom out. Alright. Alright, so as you can see here, this is the battery voltage. Um, it's not connected to the charger yet um, and that's the current in uh, and that's the trend so let's connect it to so what's the best way to do it alright All right, that's that's better okay so the current is 870 milliamp or 0.8 amp when I initially adjusted the voltage to 4.3 with no load. Obviously when we connect to the load, the battery is load at, this, uh, at that point. Um, that dropped the voltage and now this charger is trying to charge the voltage and bring the voltage up. Oh. Put it back up. As you can see, the battery voltage is rising slowly. Now what I'm going to do, as I did before, uh, in previous video, I'm going to adjust the uh, um, potentiometer, the right one, right hand side, um, to see if that would affect the current, basically limiting current. You can have a look at this uh, value. So we are at um, 820, I haven't touched it yet. Okay, I'm turning it, uh, I think, happening. Okay, yeah, 850, 860. Should be able to get at least one amp. 860. Let's go the other way. Okay. And on the um, charger, the uh, green LED is on. Um, let's go. Let me show me that. So I'm turning it clockwise now. Nothing is happening, right? Um, this current limiting is doing nothing. Go the other way. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, the change should be. Um, 
much more um, tangible. I mean, as you can see, the, the current, it is reducing, but it's not because I'm adjusting that, because it's charging the battery here. And as you can see, the voltage is increasing. So this is not what we're looking for. We're looking at the, some big numbers. So let's, let's um, change the middle potentiometer, um, which um, was for trickle voltage, trickle charging. Okay, turning it anti-clockwise. Yeah, I think it's happening. So as you can see, this trend is very smooth. It's going down, and that's what you expect for uh, um, constant current charging. And how it works, that um, basically starts from maximum current uh, and then oh, actually you can't see the trend let me just zoom in here all right all right this is a I'm using my 60d and I've got a 17 55 mil lens on it and these 60ds are not good at all with auto focusing Anyway, um, so as you can see this trend, it's very uh, plateau and uh, very smooth, smoothly going down because you're charging the battery. So again, that didn't do anything. Um, oh, my alligator's clip are coming off. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, stop this test and go to the other test which was connecting across the resistor. Get some uh, round numbers. I'm going to, so this is 10 ohm. Put this here, let's measure it. That here. This should be 10 ohm. Uh, that's good enough to me. 9.8. Now I'm going to increase the voltage on the charger to 10 volt. And that will give him one amp. Um, So, and by the way, uh, this um, and this is um, LM2596 and it's got a bit warm after doing a bit of charge for a minute or so. It's not hot, but okay. So, let's connect that here. Connecting this. First, I want to adjust the voltage, make sure everything is correct, and then Go to the next stage. All right. Let's increase the voltage. It's going up. It's good. At least this one is working. Um, here, almost there. All right. Um, I'm going to do this test for a very short amount of time. So, that's all it. It has a current limiting. 0.93 amp. Okay, just want to check the resistors. I mean, they're Getting quite hot. All right, as you can see, um, the voltage is 8.9. When I adjusted this to 10 volt, 
when I put the load on it, the resistors, the voltage drops was 8.9 and the current was 9, uh, 9.6, 9.8 um, what I'm going to do is connect these and try to vary the th uh, third potentiometer the one on the right, see if we can adjust the current with this because this is the current limiting um, just want to let it cool down a bit so the way I inserted these resistors, I didn't put it all the way in but we'll give it a, a bit of space to breathe for temperature <laughs> I mean it's getting quite hot, I'm putting a lot of uh, it's one, 1 amp, 10 volt it's like 10 watt um, these are not 10 watt obviously um, alright Let's do that. All right, 9.3. Adjusting the potentiometer, 9.4. I think it's happening. Going anti-clockwise, 9.3. Nothing. Going clockwise. No change. Yep, that's useless. So again, these two tests proved I mean this one doesn't work I mean I got some feedback from other people that um, the unit they purchased um, it didn't work either for them um, but again I mean the test I did this time in the, in the previous video proves the same thing I, I mean these two uh, potentiometer don't do anything but if you have any other comments or you think other methods I can test or, or diagnose it, let me know. But it doesn't worth it, no four bucks. Uh, I didn't have a time to um, troubleshoot it. But um, it would be interesting like, uh, what's the issue, why it's not working and if others have the same, pro others have the same problem as well. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my videos. I'll try to put more videos in near future and if you have any questions or you want me to test something then